threshold of a most radical innovation in the to February 2003 Colombia began its descent back to earth As the shuttle raced over the Pacific towards the U.S., the crew put on their suits, preparing themselves for a routine landing. It was now 8.40 a.m., and these are pictures of their last moments alive. At 8.44 a.m., Columbia re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Still, Everything appeared normal. Flight, by chancy. Everything looked good to you. Control and rates and everything is nominal, right? Control's been stable. We have good trims. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Okay. Then, just 22 minutes before touchdown, at 8.54 in the morning, there was an unusual reading from one of the shuttle's many sensors. Flight back. Go ahead, Max. FYI, I've just lost four separate temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle. Four hide return temps. Right to the left Go. outboard, left inboard elbow. Pressure on left outboard and left inboard both tires. FYI, I've just lost four separate uh, temperature transducers on the left side of the vehicle. Uh, hydraulic return temperatures. Four hide return temps. To the left outboard and left inboard elbow. Okay, is there anything common to them? DSC or MDM or anything? I mean, you're telling me you lost them all at exactly the same time. No, right? not exactly. They were within probably four or five seconds of each other. Okay. Where are those? Where is that instrumentation located? They're, all the, four of them are located in the uh, aft part of the left wing, right in front of the elevons, elevon actuators. And okay. there is no commonality. No commonality. And there's no commonality between all these tire pressure instrumentations and the hydraulic return instrumentations. Uh, no, sir, there's not. We've also lost the uh, nose gear down talk back and the right main gear down talk back. Nose gear and right main gear down talk back? Yes, sir. In flight ECOM? ECOM. I've got four temperature sensors on the bottom line data that are off scale low. Columbia Houston, UHF COM check. Houston, UHF com check. Capcom, uh, Charlie Hobart calling uh, Columbia on UHF frequency as it approaches uh, the Merritt Island tracking station range in Florida. Communications uh, with Columbia were lost at about 8 a.m. Central Time, about the 10, 10 minutes ago. This is Mission Control Houston. Any debris that is located in the vicinity of the North Central Texas area that uh, may be related to the shuttle contingency should be reported to local law enforcement who will then uh, report to NASA. It should be avoided. Uh, debris could be potentially hazardous due to toxic substances that are used as propellants on the space shuttle. Flight controllers here are securing all information and notes and data pertinent to the scheduled descent and landing of the shuttle today as part of contingency procedures. Search and rescue teams in the Dallas Fort Worth area have been in any debris that is located in the north central Texas uh, vicinity that may be related to the space shuttle contingency should be reported to local law enforcement authorities 
and should be avoided as it may be hazardous due to toxic substances that are used as propellants. Thank you.